YouTube land, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time, then welcome. This is the Wild Rye Project. It's a playlist. It's a home build in the mountains of Colorado built completely out of shipping containers. Four of them to be exact, four 40 foot high cubes. And I'm actually standing here on the shop site waiting for the delivery of three of those four containers for this next build. Always, always an exciting time to wait for any material to show up, but especially these because this is gonna be just like the Nook build. If you haven't checked that out, go check out that playlist as well. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you can catch the rest of this build as we progress forward. Like I said, these four containers are gonna be dropped on site at the shop so we can start fabrication before you actually bring them to the build site. A lot of the work can happen here, which is great because the actual site is two hours from this location. So it's a lot of time in the truck. And the nice part about that is we get to kind of hybrid modular build this home. And that's the easiest, easiest way to do this. That's why I like using these containers to build homes. So as I'm waiting on the truck to show up, uh, I'll go through a couple things with you. One, once they show up, I'm gonna walk through the containers, make sure they're the ones we bought and that nothing else has happened to them in transition from the actual site we purchased them from to this site at the shop. We're gonna make all of our exterior cuts here, excluding a couple that we'll talk about in other videos. And again, I'm gonna make sure that we have exactly what we need uh, bef once they get dropped here. The fourth container is coming next week, just the way logistics worked out for delivery, but that's okay because once these get dropped, we can start all the work, all the fun stuff. I'm actually gonna experiment here and try a little bit of the framing here on site before they go back up to the build site. There's a couple areas I can actually do some framing here that won't affect any sort of transition or transportation as we take them to the build site itself. Um, all right, so we're just kind of wait and see. He should be here in a few minutes to drop the first of the three containers for this week and then one next week and uh, it's always exciting. All right, showtime. How's it going? Good, man. Nice to meet you. So this is our spot. Um, I think as we calculate, I'll remeasure real, real quick, but uh, this concrete pad is basically 20 feet off the street, which is what we need. Yep. So we're just gonna line them up, one, two, three, and then the fourth one next week. Um, I'm thinking like eight to 10 feet apart, just so I have room to get the fourth lift in and out of here if I need to maneuver anything. Yeah, because we can tuck them all back in here. If we have like one, two, three, four, like that, and then the last one ends up on this pad even, right, right. space-wise, I think that'd be fine. I've still got a little bit of like concrete here I can kind of play with for leveling it. Should I, should I put the first one like right, right here and then we'll just start running that way? Does that make sense? You're okay with that. I'm fine with that. Yeah, it's, we get like I said, we got some concrete here we can kind of move around because I got to have them leveled for fabrication. Right. It's a house. Yeah. No, it's well, all four of them are going to be for one house. So it's oh. about a 1300 square foot house, yep. three bed, two bath. Yeah. Fantastic. All 40 foot high cube. So yeah. We've got a buddy in Florida that's doing these. He's got a huge YouTube channel too. And they're doing only one container for homes. And it's all, it's all like, it's, you know, cost effective, obviously, for sure. Right. But it's basically trying to get affordability back in the game. And he's killing it right now. It's just uh, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we just finished that one. Oh, okay. um, Which is with three containers. So, yeah, we cut out. It's funny how you start, when you start doing this more and more, it's when you're, you know, building stuff. Cause I'm, I've been a builder a long time, but this is, you know, a newer concept. Yeah. And that middle container, we cut the crap out of it. And like, we didn't even need to buy one. We could have just welded up some metal and stuck the other ones together. And so live and learn, but yeah, this one's gonna be pretty cool. I guess slide it back about four feet. Okay. Is that okay? You want me to pull forward or? Uh, yeah, if you want to pull forward just like three, four feet, that's yep. perfect. And then just drop it right there, that'd be awesome. And is, is there that's perfect. perfect. I don't want to go any further that way anyway. So yeah, exactly.
close to you, I can't make a connection Now ain't buddy in question Knew you got around, guess I loved you in denial Shouldn't have let receipts, now I got you on fire Kaboom Woo, we're gonna have to level that sucker out Rock and roll, baby There's my first shim How's it going? Hey, uh, do you know about how long you'll be here? Uh, no, okay. I just got one more container getting dropped. It's just a big yeah, flat, but I'll let you know when he's showing up. I don't know how long he's gonna be, but for right now, yeah. I think we're cool, but yeah. Yeah, I can move forever. I think like right up in here somewhere. I'll let you know when he gets here, but yeah. All good. All good, man, thank you. We, it's hot. All right, let's take a look inside. So you have seen me do this before on the Nook playlist. That is the three container build we did right here, okay? If you haven't, check that out. Go over and one side or the other is gonna show the playlist for the Nook here. Go click on that, check it out. I did a whole video on how to inspect containers and what we're looking for. I'll do a brief overview of that right now. This is container number two that got dropped. Um, I had to run in between. So I'm looking for one, making sure this is one of the containers we ordered, check. Uh, two, uh, I don't see any exterior damage as I walked around it, which I didn't do on camera, but that's okay. And now I'm gonna be looking at the interior um, to figure out if there's anything else that's happening. These containers are actually in really good shape. I see one little dent there. It's not gonna be uh, protruding past where we're gonna do our furred walls for our wood framing for our, uh, that section, so I'm not worried about that. Um, floors look like they're in great shape, and uh, I don't see anything else. So, um, container two looks pretty good. Container one, the doors were a little funky, but uh, they check out too, and then we're just waiting on container three to get dropped. Should be here any moment. And then uh, we have three of our four, like I said. Number four gets dropped next week just because of the uh, logistics of getting those delivered from Denco. So that's what we got going on. Um, here it is. We got them all set and we're ready to start cutting framing on a little bit. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try that. We're gonna try a little bit of framing. Um, see how it goes. All right, that's it for this one. Hope everyone enjoyed it. YouTube land. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Would appreciate that. Get any questions, drop them in the comments below. Check out the whole playlist. Best way to do that is subscribe to the channel. That way you know when those videos come out. You can follow along, get information as we put this build together. Again, it's a three bed, two bath, 1300 square foot home built strictly and only out of shipping containers, 40 foot high cubes. I'm gonna wait for the fourth one and then uh, it's time to build. As always, the door's closing on me. That's telling me something. Build safe. Build smart, keep building.